Wait, please, do not leave me, I am begging you. Stay here. Stay and I will show and tell you everything. Lovey Doby, you got it. Wait, that is not what really happened. Cause now you No, that is not it either. Let me tell you how it started. I grew up reading classic romantic novels, Love at First Sight, and Happily Ever After. That's what the stories told us it had to be true. And me and my mom won't stop until we prove that it is. And well, things always went bad. And when they did, I'd be waiting with the popcorn and her favorite novel fault in our stars. Where are these men hiding? As mom threw her bowl away angrily, my BFF Lauren walked in. Oh. Did I come at a bad time? Oh no, we're just reading love novels and crying. The usual, come on, join us. My life has been like any other teenager. I passed with good grades, went into a good university, had a lot of friends, took mom's good looks. Everything in my life was perfect. Everything except for relationships. Like there was Madden freshman year, who was the one, until he all of a sudden decided to that he was gay or Josh, who 100 hours after we started dating decided to move to another country. And most recently, Mark, who suddenly told me he was becoming a priest and couldn't date girls anymore. I don't get it, these guys seem to like me, and it's going great. And then few days later I don't know what happens. They go out with you because you're pretty and cool, and then you lose your mind and drive them away. What am I doing wrong? Oh, I don't know, how about when Matt saw your photoshopped wedding pictures with him although you were dating for hardly three days? Or Josh, you stared into his eyes and said you could see his soul? Or Mark, you sang a song for him at his sister's wedding you weren't even invited to? I just wear my heart on my sleeve. You come on too strong, and you always pick the wrong guys. They look like your dumb idea of Prince Charming, and they're exciting, but they're not right for you. Okay. Okay, but look at this guy I bumped into at the coffee shop today, he asked me out. Lauren immediately set a calendar alert for 100 hours. What's that for? When you guys break up. This time it's different. I'd love to be wrong about this, but she was never wrong. 100 hours, like clockwork, the end, and I would scream into my pillow and swear off stupid boys forever till the next one, of course. Lauren always supported me, but after watching my summer romance crash and burn before senior year, she'd had enough. I can't bear to see you go through this again. How about letting me play matchmaker for once? I know you inside out. I'll try anything at this point. Okay, but there are some ground rules. First, you have to get to know him before you decide you're in love. Don't rush into it. And lastly, you can't reject him until you've had at least two dates. Agreed? Done. We wrote it into a contract and signed it. Lauren was taking her research very seriously, and I was looking forward to what she find. But that Friday, I came to the locker rooms after the class. I was full of energy and excited to see what Prince Charming she would choose for me. So I started listening to music and fantasizing about my dreamy date. As always, we strive to bring you the best enemy entertainment, and we couldn't have done it without your support. If you enjoy our series and want to see more, please consider choosing one of our membership options. Your support helps us to continue making the series you love. And if you're new to our channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you never miss an episode.